welcome and welcome Thank you so very much for joining us. We had a little technical difficulty. I hope you don't mind. We are featuring Restore Peace and Nina Simone. And I'd like to thank each and every one of you for joining us once again. And this is our sixth day. We are going and we fronting, praying, offering an prayer of peace for Restore Peace and Nina Simone. And for those who, are, who have been joining and have been having a fabulous time, and we want you to get those on demand featured spoken word or poetry out to us as soon as you can. We will feature it we'll and bring it on our streaming our video. I mean, we like to stand in position and editor in our prayer of the morning right now. And as we stand before the Queen, we have declared December the 29th as Nina Simone's day, and we will uplift her today and restore her back to peace and hollow out a place hollow out a place for a day hurt as we as we heard that this day the 27th of midnight on Sina Simone's day Father God, Father God, we come just lifting up our voices lifting up our prayer line to speak to you about restoring Nina Simone even though she has made her transition we are talking about calling her her dignity back, giving give her in her ability to feel free, to feel free, to feel to the world as her life in this continent. Ever, wherever she might and her soul reside, she can go there freely. No one will ever bar Nina Simone from her own home and country town. And we thank you, Lord, for offering up the prayer of the day that we reach to our Nina Simone to our feet. Her. Ladies and gentlemen, I just to thank you. Like I know you and let you know we are, we are going to be featuring a tour in the doing music, and we're working that out right now. We would like to do something here, right here in my hometown, in the area of Gary, Indiana, and we're working on that right now, just as we speak. And if it's at all possible, we will be we're doing concerts back here sir, in Gary, Indiana, in the first. Farmers and farmers. Say, we like to say that I feel that we incorporate some of our listening audience who are local as well. I'd like to say thank you to Anthony Scott for providing a place and a venue for us to run our streaming audio and video. I'd like to also say also thank you to Aaron Von King, and King one of our being one of our, one of our first interviews on our restoring people on our first interview for uh reordering the marriage vows as well as working with us with Nina Simone. I would like to also say that um we are going to send a shout out to those people who are working as our administrator. I like to send a shout out to you, Seth, uh, as well as Rel Gar, William Gar, and also uh, Phyllis Aiden, and Aiden and all the technology that we're doing. Uh, I am featuring this on my uh, YouTube uh, station, and I'm a novice, I'm not a professional, but nevertheless, I wanted to come up here today because this was a day in success. Our dream is to also create a venue, 
venue of the Nelson Martin Music on at least still at least her to five playing following around on the crowd of the tour. Bring her to bring all music to the states if we can. We know that might not be possible, but we can start and make a dent in it. We want to especially go to her hometown, North Carolina. It is our dream and our vision. It is our desire our that we that the A might to give her some give her sense of peace the peace we stood and we her story the peace between the fact that she used her pen as a weapon and she fought back and I believe she won. But there's no sense in letting her be unrested. It's time to let her rest and let her rest. We will restore Nina's story back to the Lord to keep we know because it is her old time for time to be restored. So we're going to be solemn music all over the diaspora. We're going to be talking about her throughout the year. This won't stop here with the seven day atonement. You will be seeing me featured on YouTube writing a series of videos talking about Nina Simone as well as singing her music. Now bear with me. I'm with me. Still working yet my band in the end of the instrument of Nina's band music. Nina's music. Sometimes the records that could be made are complicated. Don't have your band with you. That could be rather complicated if you don't have your band with you. Uh, what I would like to say is that Nina has been told recently to go back to door and we have made an attempt made we attempt this talk Nina talk about Nina Simone thing off of Facebook. Those of you who have been following me on Facebook, you know I've been talking about Nina every day and I would like for you to lift her name up and don't forget that she's an ancestor and call her name periodically and remember her music. Most of all go out and buy her music. His family, her family, benefit not a sit for those 70 columns that were taken from her. And those people who took her music know who they are. They need to restore Nina back in peace and restore her family back by giving them the proceeds from those CDs that were taken or those albums. And I like to say, I like to say that on tomorrow, good fight, good fight. She went abroad, went abroad, and she continued to fight. It was, but it was not for her overseas as it was here in the United States. I too lived overseas, and I sang while overseas, and I didn't have a difficult time turning in my music. I mean, my music, my knowledge was went. I didn't have, didn't have a difficult time in, in trying to talk about what it is to be black. Everyone in Europe somehow was interested in knowing about our blackness. What about our blackness? And did we did become educated in the United States? And if we did, and if we, how did we feel about how we educate our education? I I feel that Europe, the over in Europe, were more concerned about our education and who we were as a people, and that we were new breed people, and they were very, very kind about who we were. We were and they welcomed us, they went to their country, kind of us, and were hard to be a part of it. I, and I know what they, I know what I need to grow, where no one, I know what got involved in doing her music there because she knew that it would be easier for her. She knew this. Now I like to say that that there are a number of things that we need to point out that you can't use your pen and your paper, your paper when you fight you at all in a battle and when you use the war you can use your pen and you can use her weapon. Her choice of weapon was the pen and the pad and she won. Whether or not we want to believe it or not, she won. She fought courageously, even up until death, to fight against injustice and grand impartiality. I like to I like to pause right about now and see if my videotape is working right, because sometimes it's a little difficult when you're trying to get something going here, but I'd like to also say that we are going to be fighting in the struggle, in the struggle, word to work through us, and can rustle, and word will be broken. We want the breaking down and barriers of the wall, this injustice, partiality, and most of all, racial prejudice. 
We know racial president prejudice is psychosis. It's an illness. And we pray, pray for all those people who are sick and who are caught and pawed with this disease. This we pray that they will be the pill come and that those people will better themselves better than they go forward. Go full try to restore Nina long Because if we do not find a way to restore Nina to peace, then God himself will make it mandated that everyone who offended her will have to and restore us Nina to promote peace. I like to say, I like to say that yes. some love on you, they used to very much, and she believed in them, and she thought that they would fight this revolution. And this revolution is being televised, and with your help, we can fight against the sickness called causing and the sickness called sickness psychosis. We can post against the fight against we could talk about talk about helping people we could talk about people talk about people getting more therapy we could talk we could keep about deleting it from the vocabulary and stop judging people before the fact. Racial injustice to one is injustice to all. And we know that Dr. Martin Luther King stood for all people. And we're talking about talk because then all people all realize need to that just racial hurt is every Who's one involved, involved practice, in practice and amazing behavior? Thank you so very much for joining us on this particular journey, and we will be back at you in a second. Hold tight.